it's always a pleasure watching you work as well. So would it be alright if we uh, watch you do uh, one of yeah, your uh, pieces? Absolutely. And while you're doing it, if you wouldn't mind just explaining the method and what you're using and the tools sure. and whatnot. Um, this is a brush pen, and it's uh, it's a, what I'm using is a it's a Pentel. It has this Japanese symbol, and it says Pentel. You could probably order it online or any comic book store, any probably not comic book store, but most likely an art store. But I also it has a cartridge inside it. Um, it's refillable, but mine ran out, and I just dip it in ink because I like to get more ink on it anyway. So this is the way I work at home too. I just take a brush like this and dip it inside the ink. And so for this piece, uh, for you, which is a, you said a, a kabuki piece, um, I find I usually start with, with anything I'm drawing, whether I'm drawing from life of real humans or other people, I find I usually start with this right eye to begin with. And the wonderful thing about using this kind of brush is, you know, you can get a, a pretty thin point on it. So you can just have it kind of like fade away into nothingness. Um, but you know, you can press down on it and uh, you know get some shadow and some uh, personality to you know each line stroke. So right now these are probably my favorite uh, my favorite brushes to use. And you know you can't beat it for portability too. What was the uh, turn for you? How did you get into artwork? I just always did it since I was a child. Um, my mother was a first grade teacher, so she always had uh, art supplies around, and I would see her using her own art supplies to make like lesson plans for her, her students. So uh, I, you know, to, so they could learn their colors and numbers and seasons and that sort of thing. She would be making clever, you know, visual communication aids that you know were artistically crafted. Um, and so that was, that, you know, my mother's probably my primary, you know, formative artistic influence, just seeing another adult do it, making things as a matter of fact, and, you know, really using art as a means of communication and, and learning. Um, so that's, that's my, my earliest uh, introduction to, to artwork, probably, you know, seeing my mom do that. And then just being able to sit down and make things while she was making things because I had access you know, to her art supplies. It's a very distinctive grip that you have too. How does that develop? Well, uh, this way I can, you know, I, I can just get like the, uh, the the tip of it, or I can just press down and get, you know, a, a, a thicker a thicker line like this when I when I do the side of the brush. But it's kind of a yeah, I guess it's like a Japanese, you know, calligraphy, you know, approach to it. And uh, any future uh, series of storylines that you're going to be doing? Yeah, I'm working on a Daredevil project right now at Marvel, and I'm working on a, another creator-owned project, uh, like an autobiographical story that I'm, I'm writing and drawing. And uh, the Daredevil thing I'm co-writing with, with Brian Bendis and uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and Klaus Janssen are, are doing the majority of the art on it. And uh, the art of it so far looks fantastic. Now, I know uh, Kabuki was your creator-owned uh, thing, but uh, how has working on Daredevil been for you? Oh, it's been a joy because, you know, I read Daredevil when I was a child, so that was my first work for Marvel was, was starting as a writer on Daredevil, and it was kind of like I was able to just kind of continue with where my childhood memory of Daredevil left off and, uh, and now write the character, so that was a lot of fun. There you go. Fantastic. David Mack, thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks so much. It's always much. a pleasure uh, talking with you and interviewing. Thank you. Thanks a lot.